There's a problem at Seton Medical Center in Williamson, but unfortunately, there's also a new approach to solving it. The Trauma Center medical director noticed a trend, a significant number of patients over the age of 65 who came in injured. And the lion's share of those patients, over 85%, in fact, went to the ER because of a fall. So they developed a holistic approach to getting those seniors back on their feet faster. I fell on my side. Usually, if ever I fell, it just went down I'm, you know, to the front. But this one, I, I knew when I couldn't get up, I was in trouble. Mary Ann Bro got distracted, took a spill, and tore cartilage in her knee. I was going down some rounded steps, not too steep. And instead of looking at the steps, I was looking at my niece's dog. That landed her in Seton's Matter of Balance class. The goal is getting seniors out of their seats. What we found is that individuals over the age of 65 who have a fall become afraid of falling. Then they decrease their activity, which makes them actually more at risk for falling later. I feel like my balance is off. If I just stumble on something, I feel like I'm going to go down. Make sure we make slowly and to fight that fear factor, they get moving. Hang on to your chair. <laughs> and they build toward better balance. It's part of Seton Williamson's new 65 and Strong pilot program, working to take seniors from the ambulance to recovery faster. Aggressively resuscitate them as you would a younger patient. Mm -hmm. If you aggressively operate on them in a, a timely fashion, and if you aggressively get them up and get them moving with physical therapy, you'll have 85% or better back to their pre-injury level of activity mm -hmm. and hopefully independence. And this class is free thanks to a grant. We like to look at this as sort of a 360 degree hug for the senior to get them back up and going again. So hopefully I don't get any more falls. <laughs> The 65 and Strong program examines all factors of a patient's life that could affect their recovery, including other medical conditions, their diet, prescription drugs, interactions, respiratory function, and physical activity. And it begins before the patient ever gets to the emergency room. The hospital is working with EMS paramedics to help assess the patient's living conditions when an ambulance arrives for pickup.